Welcome to the Getting Started with Cork Express video series. I'm Dan Logan and on this episode we're going to start at the very beginning and talk about Cork Express basics such as how pages are constructed and how you move around and manipulate a layout. Now when I first started using Cork Express I was lucky because I never had to create a document from scratch. I was always working files that other people had created. That helped me get comfortable with the tool set without worrying too much about the technical specifics involved in document creation. I encourage you guys to download the file that we're looking at today and play with it for a while before creating your own. This file can be downloaded from our website where uh, we put this video. So let's talk first about moving around within a Cork Express layout. The first thing you need to learn about the interface in Cork Express is that it's very keyboard driven. Even when you're working with the mouse to move around or manipulate boxes, you should always keep your free hand on the keyboard ready to press any of the three modifier keys. The modifier keys are Command on Mac or Control on Windows, uh, Option on the Mac or Alt on Windows, and Shift. While you're working on a layout, you'll frequently press one of these keys to modify the behavior of the action that you're doing. Let's take navigation as an example. If you look here on the tools palette, you'll see that there are tools for navigating the document view, the zoom and the pan tools. We put them here so that new users know that they're available. But if you ever watch an experienced layout artist work, you'll notice that they never actually click on those tools. Instead, they use the keyboard modifiers to temporarily invoke the navigation tools. For example, right now I'm in the text content tool which for many is the most frequently used tool, so they stay in that tool most of the time. Well, regardless what tool I have selected, at any time I can press uh, Option on the Mac or Alt on Windows to access the Pan tool, allowing me to scroll around the document without using the scroll bar itself. Or I can press the Control and Shift keys on the Mac, or control and spacebar on Windows to invoke the zoom tool and zoom in to an area of detail. I can even drag out a little zoom area that will automatically take me to that specific uh, zoom percentage. Now of course while I'm zoomed in is when I'll really need to use option or alt to move the view around and see the various parts of the layout. Now when it comes to zooming out you can uh, invoke the zoom tool with the modifier key and click to zoom out, but you have to add an extra key, Option or Alt, to make it zoom out instead of zoom in. And you know, a three key modifier is probably going to give you carpal tunnel syndrome eventually, so most people zoom out by selecting one of the zoom options available up here uh, in the view menu. And we also have easy uh, direct key commands for these zoom options. So for example, I might press uh, Command 1 to set the layout to its actual size, or Command 0 to fit the view, to fit the pages view into my current window, or I can even press Command Option 0 to see my entire spread. Then if I want to zoom back in, I'll just press the keyboard command again and zoom in to detail. So I may uh, you know, zoom into this text, work this text, and then when I'm done, zoom back out to fit in window to see my whole page. At any time, if you're curious what exact zoom percentage you're at, you can always see it down here in the lower left corner of the document window. If you're working on a long document, sometimes you'll need to skip directly to a specific page. You can do that by selecting Go To from the Page menu, but if you do this very often, you'll quickly switch to the faster uh, Command J or Control J on Windows to automatically bring up the Go To Page dialog and quickly enter the page number that you want to jump to and go directly to that page. So here I can say, uh, take me to page 6, right? Command J, take me to page one. Right now we're viewing this layout as it would print. However, there are things about our layout that I might want to see on the screen even though they don't actually print. All of these options are under the view menu and also have keyboard equivalents. You should familiarize yourself with all of these options under the view menu. The two that you'll use most often are show and hide guides and show and hide invisibles. 
So you should learn the keyboard equivalents for those. Uh, show guides is F7. When I press that, now I can see uh, the underlying structure of my layout. I can see borders drawn around all of the boxes making up my page, and I can see the non-printable guides that have been placed on the page to keep everything aligned. While I'm working in Cork Express, I'll frequently use F7 to toggle in and out of uh, guides mode. The other keyboard command that you'll use frequently is show invisibles, which is uh, command or control I on the keyboard. This view mode lets me see all the non-printable characters in my text. If I zoom in, we can see that uh, as I toggle show invisibles, I can uh, show or hide things like the hard return character. So now you know how to move around the document. But what about how it was actually built? How do you get from this, just a blank page, to a finished layout? 